Hall of Famer, and to many of us, the greatest Seahawk ever. Steve Largent, thrilling a town hall audience at the Capitol Theater in Yakima today. Steve broke every NFL pass catching record during his 14 year career in Seattle through the late 1970s and 80s. Not a top draft pick out of Tulsa, Largent flew under the radar to kick off his pro career, much the same as Yakima's Cooper Cup, who Steve loves to watch play. He's a good player, uh, a guy you want to have on your team, a guy you can count on. You know, he knows his plays. He's going to be in the right place. He's going to make the breaks at the right time. And uh, those are guys that, that, are, that a quarterback can count on. In Largent's days, Seahawks training camp was in Cheney. Steve and some of his teammates spent a lot of their days off on our side of the mountains, hunting. When his Hall of Fame career ended, Largent enjoyed four terms as a U.S. congressman from his home state, Oklahoma. Unlike his good friend quarterback Jim Zorn, Steve never had an inkling to return to football as a coach. You know, I, I used to say that, that there were two things I, I would never do. One's politics and the other's coaching. And so I just learned after my political career, not to say anything about football. <laughs> one for two. <laughs> yeah, one for two, yeah, that's right. Steve turns 70 next week, wrapping up his speaking tours and charity work, set to concentrate his time on watching his grandkids compete. I reminded Steve that People Magazine once had the Seahawks legend on their most beautiful people list. Well, you have a problem with that? <laughs> That's what it is, jealousy hour. How much ribbing did you take from your uh, Oh, I took a lot of ribbing for that. Yeah, it was, uh, it was fun, though. And that is it. I am out. John, back to you.